This, my friends, is one cool piece. Flashback to 1979, that's 41 years ago. I was 14 years old when this bike came out. And, uh, let me tell you, this thing pulls like a freight train, the little four stroke engine, wheelies on command, and uh, you don't even have to rev the motor up to, to get going pretty good. Starts first kick, and it's absolutely freaking awesome. Check it out. Hey, this one's wizard tune. This one's wizard tune for sure. Wizard tune. I don't think so. What's happening, wizard? <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy did this one. Jimmy, this is Jimmy Laurinaitis tuned. This thing's just been completely gone through. I'll have to go over the work order within a second. But before we do, let's just have a moment of silence and walk around it and look at it. <laughs> Starting with the White Brothers swing arm. Check that out. Period correct aluminum White Brothers swing arm with the original. I think those are Coney shocks, but those might be the originals. I'm not really sure. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, the swing arm is. Uh, what I'll call unobtainium. Where are you going to find an aluminum White Brothers swing arm for a 79 XR250? Brand new rear tire. It's got a uh, nice brand new gold chain on there. The rear fender looks to be like new. Oh, is that a 23 inch front tire? 23 inch front tire. Oh, one year only. Really cool piece. The original uh, seat is in excellent condition. I think the seat cover might, might I, I, I'm not sure if it's original or not. I think it is original. It's in mint shape. It's got the original tool bag. Check it out. It's got the Honda logo on there. I believe that's the original taillight, Stanley. Um, it has a super trap. No, it's not the original. It's not the original taillight? No. Okay. Um, it has a, a super trap adjustable, tunable muffler on the, with the discs in here. You can add or remove discs to make it louder or quieter at, uh, as you wish. Um, again, brand new tire. The valve cover gaskets are brand new. We just did those on it. The valves were adjusted. The carb was rebuilt. Uh, the inside of the tank was, was, was uh, cleaned. A new air filter was installed. Hey guys, check out the odometer on this thing. It's got 891 miles on it. And uh, the, wow, L look at inside the tank, Kenny. That's gotta be the cleanest 1979 tank I've ever seen. It's like freaking shiny, like brand new. Can you see that in, in the video? Yeah. It's perfect. So oversized gas cap. Odometer looks to be in, in mint shape. I think these are the original bars. Uh, it does have a brand new set of enduro grips on it and a new set of levers and a new set of perches on there. So the, the perches and grips are new, as is the other components I mentioned. Original gas tank, I believe that's original paint on the gas tank, looks pretty good. It does have a custom paint job on the front fender with some cool pinstriping put on it. We're here in Gore, what was done to it. Uh, the, we started with a full dismantling, uh, you know, gas tank was taken off, exhaust uh, muffler was taken off seat and uh, rear tire and, and the whole thing was steam cleaned hot water pressure washed and hand washed from top to bottom, what we call a rotisserie detail. We laid the bike on a side and power washed the bottoms and the motors. Uh, There's a technique to what we do, we've been doing it forever. So it was every speck of dirt was removed from it. And then the engine side covers were painted the high temp aluminum. The cylinder and head was brushed with steel wool. Uh, the hubs were touched up with black uh, paint. The fuel tank was buffed and waxed. The shocks were disassembled and repainted. Uh, the aluminum swing arm was polished, the forks Take a look at the fork lowers, those were polished. The frame was touched up. The exhaust muffler was repainted painted the high temp. The super trap muffler was re repainted the high temp uh, black. The uh, handlebars were, were cleaned up and touched up painted. The, the seat was uh, reconditioned and uh, pretty much full rotisserie detail. Everything was, you could think of doing a full 10 hours in the detail shop, painting and cleaning and polishing from top to bottom. The service department uh, did a compression test, 155 PSI, which is factory spec. It's perfect. The engine mounts were, were, were uh, removed and the valve cover was taken off and the, uh, they carefully cleaned the gasket glue from the cover and head and replaced it with the Yama Bond, uh, resealed the valve cover, um, tight, torqued down all the screws and bolts, uh, reassembled the top mounts, uh, adjusted the valves, uh, put a, a new rear tire on it, uh, put a new air filter in it, uh, set the valve clearance again, Carb was rebuilt, cleaned, new chain. Starts first kick, runs like brand new. Fuel tank was flushed in the petcock. Um, front brake serviced, brand new grips, adjusted the throttle cable. Um, pretty much a full tune up. Anything you could possibly do to it or needed to be done was done. So uh, it's running, we run a non ethanol VP fuel in there because we don't like ethanol fuel. So you could leave this bike in your garage for three years, it'll still start. It's not going to get clogged by ethanol. Um, that pretty much sums it up. Total was 20.5 hours labor plus parts and tax came to $2,124. Uh, 
Uh, and, and sake of full disclosure, the original paint uh, does have some patina on it. As you'd expect for a 41-year-old off-road bike, the front fender was repainted prior to us getting it. It's not perfect, but it looks great. Uh, the, the front tire is, in fact, the original front tire indicating the 889 miles on it. And we, we chose not to replace the tire because anytime we get a 40-plus-year-old bike with a decent tire on it, you want to leave it on there. Uh, pr proof of no miles on the bike. If this was, if this was, you know, 3,000 miles, that thing would be worn completely off. You know, the rear tire was worn out, so we did put a brand new one on there. Um, don't know what else to say. Uh, it's just, just a beautiful piece. A lot of fun to ride. Hey, you meet, you meet the, you meet the nicest people on the Honda. You also meet the happiest people on the Honda because they get on their bike and ride. Why do you think I have an XR650 in my garage and an XR100? Because they're and an XR250 because they're freaking bulletproof. I own the museum, I own a bike shop. I can ride whatever brand I want. I ride Hondas because they're a lot of fun. And that's what it's all about, you know, and, and the, the performance is there too. So uh, the original shocks on this, although cosmetically restored, the, the, they do need to be rebuilt. The dampening's not very good on it, but if you're not racing it, it's fine the way it is. You but could it, run it. You just run it the way it is. Uh, uh, but those are the original 41 year old shocks. The forks don't need to be rebuilt. They've got the oil and dampening of those seems to be good and, and they're not leaking so we left those alone but the rear shocks uh we didn't have the, the the parts or the ability to rebuild those so they were just cosmetically restored so that's about it i'd uh, like to do a little ride by uh demo on it i think the bike speaks for itself cosmetically and mechanically uh if you have any questions give us a call 860-454-7024 this is probably another one of those bikes where you know 20 plus hours later and all the, all the hoops we have to jump through ordering parts that we probably should have sold it as is as is it it was probably worth fifteen hundred to two thousand uh, dollars maybe even more and and now we put twenty one hundred dollars in it and we're probably not going to get that all that back but um you know i guess they say insanity's repeating the same thing over and over but uh i guess if we were in this for the money that would be true that that's crazy to do this but we do it because we love these bikes and the satisfaction i get on hopping on this thing and have it start first kick and the first time I had ridden this bike, very first time before Kenny started filming, five minutes before we started filming, I came up the driveway and did a three gear wheelie from the bottom of the driveway to the top. Confidence inspiring, stable, plenty of engine compression. You don't need to cover the rear brake when you're riding wheelies. Safe, fun. It feels like they're just really well built. There's not any vibration or ticking of the motor like you get out of some of the um, older bikes from this era. It's, it's Honda quality, folks. And, if you buy a new 250, as soon as you as soon as you roll, I wish I had a, my CRF 250L. I could have done a comparison side by side like we did the XR. If you buy a new bike, as soon as you buy that new that new 250 for seven thousand bucks and you roll it out the door, you lost two grand, guaranteed. You go to resell it, you're gonna lose a couple thousand bucks, and you're gonna have to pay property taxes on it at the end of the year. And your insurance is gonna be through the roof compared to this. Your property taxes alone on that bike would probably be about three hundred bucks. So, um, at least in Connecticut, anyways, and your insurance would be much higher. You buy this bike, whatever you pay for it. If you buy this bike for, for three thousand or thirty five hundred or whatever it sells for at auction, it's still worth three thousand or thirty five hundred next year. It's worth more the year after that. It's going up in value. It's a forty one year old classic and very few of these were preserved in this condition. So it's gonna continue to go up in value. And as far as miles, smiles per mile, um, there's just as many smiles per mile on this as there is on a new seven thousand, eight thousand dollar uh, brand new 2020 model uh, it has air forks long travel fork shocks the thing that that, that that crossed my mind when i was riding this thing was i'm pretty sure i could get on this and go to a j day in the 55 plus class and, and finish top five on this thing it, 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 I, I just it's a very confidence inspiring bike i think most people are going to buy this as a play bike but i think i i could take this to a competition event and and, and place it a I guarantee top 10 probably top five maybe even win it's that good Awesome off-road bike. Can we do a drive-by on it? Riding that, if you haven't experienced it, you got to try it. If you 
ride off-road at night, you feel like you're going twice as fast as during the daytime. I know Kenny's filming, but I was thinking, uh, what would be more fun than this for a trail bike or a, a play bike? This is about as good as it, it gets. Uh, a new bike's not going to be any more fun than this. It's a classic. It's got a lot of character. But it's a lot of torquey, smooth, and Honda reliability. So, awesome piece, man. Whoever gets this is getting a nice bike, man. So, good luck with it. God bless.